Today's headlines. Court orders release of documents in money laundry of Femi Fani Kayode. Obi swipes at Tinumbu. You're welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to today's news. But you can subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen to the end. A federal high court on Tuesday ordered the release of processes and documents in the money laundering trial of former Minister of State for Finance, Nenadi Esther Usman, and orders to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. The prosecutor, Mr. Rotimi Oyedepo said, made an application before Justice Daniel Ozaigo, an application before Justice Pardon, to release all documentary evidence or processes in the suit following the decision of an appellate court. Usman is charged along former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fani Kayode and Yusuf Danjuma, a former chairman of the Association of Local Governments of Nigeria, Halgon, also charged is a company, Joint Trust Dimensions Nigeria Limited. EFCC have preferred a 17-count charge, bordering on 4.6 billion naira money laundry against them before a former judge, Justice Mohamed Aikara. The defendants had either the defendants had each pleaded not guilty to the charges and were granted bail. The trial had begun begun before Justice Aikara and witnesses were still led in evidence until Aikara was transferred out of the Lagos division. The, new, the charge was consequently reassigned to a new judge, Justice Daniel Ozaigo, and they were cost, so consequently rearranged on June 24, 2022. Again, the trial commenced in the case, and witnesses were still giving evidence before the courts. However, following an appeal, filed by Usman, seeking a transfer on the case on judicial grounds. The Court of Appeal gave a ruling in favor of the defendants. When the case was called on Tuesday, Oyedepo announced an appearance for the prosecution and informed the court of the appellant court's decision directing that the case be transferred to the Abuja Division of the Courts. He also informed the courts that it is still the case of the prosecution, adding that the prosecution is still leading evidence as PW1 was still testifying. He consequently sought an application for the release of all documentary evidence and exhibits in the case to the prosecution to save time and avoid delay. In a short ruling, Justice Ozaigo held that in line with the decision of the appellate courts, all documentary evidence as well as exhibits tendered should be released to the prosecution. In the charge, the defendants were alleged to have committed the offences between January and March 2015 in Lagos. They were alleged to have at various times unlawfully retained over 4.6 billion naira, which they reasonably ought to have known formed part of the proceeds of unlawful acts of stealing and corruption. Meanwhile, in the count 15 to 17, Femi Fani Kayode and one Olubo de Oke, who is said to be at large 
were alleged to have made cash payments of about 30 million naira in excess of the amount allowed by law without going through a financial institution. The said payments were alleged to have been made to one paste postal co PPC of number 125 Lewis Street, Lagos, in essence of amounts allowed by law. All offenses were said to have contravened the provisions of Section 15, Subsection 3 and 4, Section 16, Subsection 2B, and Section 16, Subsection 5 of the Money Laundry Prohibition Amendment Act 2012. Meanwhile, Peter will be a shade Tinubu, saying that no serious leader will leave Nigeria to rest. No serious leader will go on rest. Remember that the president-elect left Nigeria after the campaigns and election to France to rest. So Peter will be a shade him that a serious, a serious leader is not supposed to do so and he urged that Nigerians should not be divided based on religion or politics. Meanwhile, Tinumbu in his speech said after his return said he was ready to kick the ground running. We have come to the end of the news. What's your take? Please share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.